What's going on guys, Walrus here. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for subscribing, and welcome back. It's been a little while since I've made a video and that is because summer has started and that is when I do a lot of work. Probably about 10 to 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday, so don't have a lot of time. If you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing some personal things that are really exciting that are going on in my life right now. And what I wanna do in this video is basically get into part two of a series that I started, I think a week ago, called How to Get a Job that primarily focuses on some tips and tricks for individuals that are, you know, you guys are probably 16, 17, 18 years old in high school. You've got means of transportation. It's summertime. You got a lot of free time on your hands and maybe mom and dad are on your back about, uh, about doing something useful and something effective, something mature with your free time. And that is getting a job. Now, don't get me wrong. Those of you guys that are in college and maybe out of college, some of the tips and tricks that I'm going to be sharing in this particular series are going to be extremely relevant to you as well. If you missed last week's video, it is on the screen. I basically talked about the proper attitude that you need to have when going to look for a job. And in this, this, this week's episode, what I'm going to be discussing is how you apply, how to how to basically get in touch with an individual that is going to give you the information on how you can how you can get a job, as well as how you should look when you go get an application or when you go in and you meet somebody for the first time. That individual that is going to be giving you the information on how to apply or how to get the job at that particular place of business that you're interested in working at. So the gameplay you guys are watching right now is just I think it's 27 and two domination, not too bad of a score here on Express, but enjoy that in the background as I get into um, as I get into the topic. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is is applying is applying for a job now obviously you're watching this video it's Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary so we share a common interest and that is video games so possibly maybe you're thinking about getting a job at maybe GameStop or Best Buy or another electronics store now most of the time and I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure but I'm fairly certain on this when you go into places of business like that they probably will not have a hard copy application in other words they won't be able to give you a paper application by hand and say take this home or fill it out here on the spot and then hand it back in most likely what they're going to do is say you need to apply online now the issue that you're going to have with that the problem that you're going to run into most of the time is the fact that since this is your first job you don't really have any relevant experience that is really going to make you stand out now i'm going to get into some tips and tricks about how to deal with that problem and right now we're going to talk a little bit about those places that you if you're like me when you're 15 16 years old if you just you just don't care you just want a chance you want an opportunity and you're willing to you're willing to open up your schedule and basically basically plan your free time around your work schedule, maybe go to go get a job at McDonald's or fast food restaurant or someplace that is basically that basically has an extremely high employee turnover rate. In other words, employees are constantly coming and going and they're just looking for somebody that looks good, that looks professional, that seems reliable and that has some nice things to say in, a, in an interview so that the manager or human resources individual is, can take a chance on you and actually extend you a position at that place of business. So speaking from personal experience, you guys, I found that the places of business that have a hard copy or a paper application on file available that they can hand to you and say, okay, here's, here's the application, take it home, fill it out, and then bring it back. Those places are great because you can take the application home, scan it, make it look all nice and professional, and then go back and turn it in. And for me, those places were the places where I found the most success when it came to my first, second, and third job, building experience up until I could put together a really good looking resume that was full of experience that was relevant to the position or new job that I was trying to apply for. And with that being said, that's gonna lead us into how do we look when we go and ask for an application or we ask about the hiring process? Well, I'm gonna talk about primarily, I'm I'm a guy, so I'm going to basically stick to what I know as far as how guys should look. I'm going to offer an opinion as far as what I think how girls should look, but it's going to be it's going to be minimal. So, for as a guy, I personally believe that you should you should dress business professional when you go look for a job, when you ask about the hiring process, even just asking for an application, you should dress business professional. And what that means is dress slacks, dress shoes, a matching belt that matches your shoes, a long sleeve collared button up shirt, a jacket, and a tie. Everything matching and I understand that not everybody has access to that particular outfit that's fine you can get away with wearing something really similar that's dress shoes dress pants belt that matches your shoes long sleeve button-up shirt and a tie that's fine you don't necessarily need the jacket but it's my personal opinion that again 
you should you should dress professionally in order to be taken seriously and when you when you show up like that you're gonna leave a professional impression that's going to last and it makes you stand out now if you just show up in skinny jeans a pair of vans a baggy crooks and castles or long or a baggy LRG shirt a backwards snapback cat cap or crooked fitted cap with some chains and some plugs in your ear and you know a bunch of bling on your wrist and stuff like that and a backpack you're really not gonna be taken seriously you're gonna be taken as a joke as some punk kid that is not serious now I don't mean to offend anybody I'm just being real with you that style is totally cool it's fine to wear with your friends but when you go out and you ask you ask an individual to take a chance on you and to trust you that you're going to be reliable you're gonna show up on time and you're going to be an asset when it comes to becoming a team player then you need to look professional and that's the impression you want to leave so that manager human resources individual looks at you and says I can I can feel good about handing this guy a paycheck or this girl a paycheck every week or every other week now for girls I'd recommend the same thing business professional which is basically you know dress slacks nice shoes nice blouse and a jacket and that's that's just my personal opinion now some of you guys might be thinking wait a minute Walrus you know I, I don't want to work in fast food I don't want to work in, in in anything that has to do with the corporate world or electronics or anything like that I just I want to work at a skate shop or I want to work at a surf shop okay cool I used to work at a surf shop I was a surf instructor for about a year it was a great job but I worked up to it I that's not where I got my first job and the point that I want to make for you guys is maybe you want to work at a record store or a, tar a tattoo pl a tattoo place some place that is has a counterculture to the corporate appearance of the corporate lifestyle you know it's a business professional there's nothing wrong with that that's great but I can guarantee you almost guarantee you that unless you know somebody if you walk in unless you know somebody that works there if you walk Walk in, dress the lifestyle. In other words, you're wearing skinny jeans and skate shoes and a skate shirt or surf shirt or a surf shirt and sandals and stuff like that. Then you're like a dime a dozen. I mean, you're not going to be remembered. You're not going to make an impression. But if you walk into one of those places of business and you are dressed business professional, you're going to make an impression. You're going to leave an impression. You're going to be taken seriously because not everybody does that. So again, emphasizing my point, dress professionally to be taken seriously. Now the next thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys is the van. I'm almost pretty much out of time. All right, well, in a, in a later video, in another video, I'll, I'll basically get into some pretty cool stuff that's happening. But just to touch on it right now, um, I got a new DSLR camera, and uh, I've got some pretty cool things planned for you guys. That's not even that's not even the big news that I wanted to talk about. I just basically ran out of time. But some really cool things are happening with me right now that I can't wait to share with you guys. And um, some pretty cool videos are on the way, real life stuff, like using the DSLR camera and some tips and tricks for that and just, you know, some unboxing. I got a new laptop and a bunch of other really cool stuff that's going on right now. So stay tuned for that. You guys, more videos are on the way. As I said, summer is a crazy time for me. So if you want to, uh, if you want, you know, if you want me to feature your video on my channel, then send it into me. Um, please, no cussing, no cursing. And um, let's try and keep it, you know, really sharp and really good and high quality and all that, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for all your support. More videos are on the way for me, but um, probably like once a week now if I'm lucky because I'm working so much. But thanks for, uh, thanks for all your support. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you later.